morning guys welcome back to my channel i'm really sorry if the lighting is currently really bad i'm in a hotel room right now and what more do we expect from a hotel room than bad lighting so i am actually at london heathrow today i mean it's not really a shock is it because i do work here but i'm not in uniform as you can see so basically the reason why i am here today not in uniform is because i literally had to pop into work for no more than 10 minutes today the reason i had to do that is because i have a flight tomorrow that requires a covid test so we had to pop in today the day before the flight which is routine for this particular trip to get a test because the place we are going to is Hong Kong and I'm sure a lot of you are aware that Hong Kong is a very strict country in terms of entry with Covid you have to have a test before you take off when you land as well it's, it's Covid test galore basically so I thought it was really silly for me to make an hour and 20 minute journey to work for 10 minutes to then make another hour and 20 minute journey back home so with my airline when we have to do a Covid test the day before they do offer hotels because it's not our choice to have to get a covid test so they're like here's a hotel for the night if you want it so then you don't have to commute back home so i took up that opportunity and i thought considering i have so much time for the rest of the day now i mean it's only 11 a.m now and i actually have so much time tomorrow as well i don't report for my flight to hong kong tomorrow until 5 p.m so i literally have like 24 hours here plus i thought i'd use this opportunity to actually go and explore the city that i work in I'm gonna go into central London guys on my own, which is quite a big step because I find London really intimidating, but I explore so many cities around the world, but I really do not know London well at all. I've never really had the opportunity to fully explore it. So I thought, why not? Let's go. I'm gonna get the tube in in a minute and just see where I go. It's gonna be very spontaneous. I'm thinking about heading to Oxford Street first because my mum said that's really good for like high street shopping and just having a wander. I do want to head into Primark because I've seen so much cute autumn stuff around. I just want to have a little browse over there. I know I've been going on about not buying clothes but it's hard when there's so much cute stuff out there for autumn. So I'm just going to have a little browse and um, just have a walk. I'm really in the mood to walk. And I mean, London is probably the best place for that. So let's head out. I'm really excited, but I am nervous at the same time because I've never used the tube on my own. I've always been with other people and that really scares me. I don't know how it's going to go, but yeah, I'm really excited. Like, I actually love spending time on my own. Is that weird? I'm back in the terminal now to get a ticket for the underground. I got my pass. I have no idea if it's the right ticket or not. I don't know what off peak means. I got no idea. Let's just hope it's the right one. <laughs> now I've got to find the right train. I'm actually very lucky that I was able to check into my hotel when I did. Normally they don't let you check in until like afternoon and they let me check in in the morning, which is fantastic. My plan is going perfectly so far. Pretty much got a whole train to myself. I literally have 20 stops, so I'm going to be on here for like an hour. So I am here and I need to get to Green Park. past four this morning and I want to give a major shout out to my mum who dropped me off at the bus station this morning at 5am. In fact we went about quarter past but I had her up at five. So thanks mum for taking me but I'm now really really tired. Hopefully I can power through the day. Oh no. This is why I said oh no. What a nightmare. My umbrella just broke. It ruined my hair and it's now on the bin. So I'm going to have to get a new umbrella from Primark, which is annoying. Love, 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 love. Oh, I absolutely love these. 
they're so soft as well and they have more colours so I might have to go pick up some more of these these are so soft they have so many different colours as well I love this blue and the good thing is it's made of recycled plastic which makes me feel less guilty about buying it if I do I really wanted to find a Yo Sushi, but on Google Maps it says all of the Yo Sushis in the area are closed. I don't know. I was going to try for like a small business somewhere and maybe eat like a smaller restaurant. But again, it goes back to what do I want to eat? My feet are killing me though. I'm really tempted to just go back, but I don't want to waste this time. I, I'm really enjoying just walking, but it's just so painful right now. I could be bougie and go to the Ivy, but I don't think my bank account would like that. I have decided to stop at Itsu because I was going to try and check it to Yosu Sushi, but there's one right here. I would carry on I quite happily walk for a long long time to go but my phone is very low on battery because it's been going since 5 a.m. which I mean it is like half past three now so that's quite good going and I have been using it all day but I do need to get back now because I can't really wander around London without a phone not gonna lie considering today was a very spontaneous and unplanned day it was a very good one they're always the best days This is what a day out in London does to you. I feel like a mess, I look like a mess. My hair, I don't know what it's doing. My face is so greasy. I just need to get into the bath. I'm currently running one right now, so I will be in there momentarily. But before I do, I just wanna show you the few bits that I did get from London. I didn't get much at all. It might not be even that interesting to you, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. I did just get the remaining itsu that I didn't eat to take away. It's just some chicken noodle soup. So that'd be quite nice to have a bit later when I'm feeling a bit hungry because I did eat about, I think it was half past three at the time. So it was a bit early for dinner, late for lunch. And I know I will be quite hungry later if I don't eat something. I went to M&S and I just picked up some work tights. I did realize I picked up the wrong denier tights. So they are not the right ones, but I'm still gonna use them anyway. Uh, but it's these specific M&S ones. So I like to get large specifically because they are comfier for the flight. So the final shop that I bought something from was Primark. And as you saw, I was looking at so much nice stuff. I loved a lot of things in there, trust me. And there was in particular this like comfy, really soft, like loungewear tracksuit kind of thing. And they had so many nice colors. I was looking specifically at the blue one 
and I really was going to get it but they didn't have like the right sizing and for some reason in the bottom specifically they were missing out on I'm normally between an 8 to a 10 but they only had between 10 and 12 and 6 and 8 there was no in between so I didn't want to risk it um, so I left that and I picked up these three items instead so you would have seen that I was looking at the pastel coloured beanies so I did have to get three pastel coloured beanies so I got the mint green I just love I love the ones with the pom-poms but I also love these ones because they're just so they're a nice accessory plus they keep you warm at the same time so I got the, the mint green I got this like cute baby pink color and I also got this baby blue one which is a different material to the others as you can see what i really loved about all of these three beanies was the fact that they're so so soft but also like i mentioned earlier they are all made from recycled plastic which makes me feel a whole lot better about buying stuff like this rather than buying it just for the sake of buying it and wanting it i know that i'm also doing my bit for the environment i think anyway it's what primark claims but i'm i'm very happy with these three and this is exactly the reason why I cannot wait for it to get colder so I can just start wearing stuff like this. But yeah, that's everything I got from London. I didn't want to buy loads because I'd end up having to carry it around with me anyway. And this was enough to carry. Uh, and plus, I haven't got much room in my checking case because I do have to take all of this to Hong Kong with me as well. So yeah, that's my little haul for you. I'm going to go jump in the bath now and I think I'm going to watch some Bake Off because I didn't watch the first one last week and there is another episode today so I want to catch up. So my bath has been had and I feel a million times better. I have also just finished my Itsu that I brought home earlier and I don't know whether you guys feel the same way but you know when you go out to eat in a restaurant and you get to that point where you're so full but you're trying to force it all down but then you decide to take it home in a doggy bag and then when you eat it later on don't you just think it tastes so much better i've just really enjoyed that itsu if you couldn't tell and i actually did go to asda just before this trip to buy my food and i bought a load of new things to try like things i've tried before but lots of different flavored things that i haven't tried before they are like snacky type foods and i want to try one with you now and I will try the others later on in this vlog when I am in Hong Kong. So the first taste test of this vlog is a squares bar. But not just an ordinary squares bar. It's a salted caramel pretzel squares bar. I think this is relatively new because I don't think I've ever seen this before. But the one thing I noticed specifically about these bars is how small they've gotten. I think that's the case with a lot of childhood foods. But this has significantly shrunk. So that's a bad point to start with. But I'm going to try it now and just see what it's like. I love salted caramel and I love pretzels. So I hope this combination really does work. That's what it looks like doesn't really look too appetizing in my opinion but it might taste better than it looks that is so sticky my mouth is like gluing together i'm gonna have another bite because i don't think i got any pretzel i'm gonna end up eating the whole of this bar before i even make a decision i definitely like it the pretzel's a bit like soft I don't know why I was expecting crunchy, especially when it's mixed with salted caramel. It's not going to be crunchy. But it's quite nice. I absolutely love sweet and salted flavours together. So this is definitely my thing. But you definitely can't have too much because it is quite filling and stodgy. I like it. But it's not my favourite snack that would be my go-to snack that's going to change my life. I think for the rest of the night I'm just going to sit in bed and watch the second episode of Bake Off. I watched the first one in the bath and I really liked it. Let me know if you guys are watching Bake Off too because I know it's a very big guilty pleasure of a lot of people. So let me know in the comments if you are enjoying it, if you are watching it. And yeah, aside from that I'm just going to go to sleep I think. Earlier the better because I'm so tired. And tomorrow isn't really going to be interesting either. I'm going to have a good lay in eat, get ready for work and just go. So I think I will just catch up with you guys when I get into Hong Kong and we'll just chill out together. So I 
can finally say that I am in the hotel here in Hong Kong. It feels like it has taken a lifetime to get here. That's not even an exaggeration. The flight was almost 12 hours. It felt like a very, very long 12 hours. We were very quiet. We had hardly any passengers. And because of that, the flight time felt like it went super slow. It's times like this when you have a longer flight that you kind of hope that it's busier, but we definitely have that to deal with on the way home. So yeah, hopefully the flight home does go a whole lot quicker. Then when we arrived at the airport, we had to go through a very intense testing regime that I think everyone who arrives into Hong Kong has to go through. So we had to have nose, throat swab, then we had to wait a good couple of hours for our test results and we were not allowed to leave the testing hall until we had a negative result. Like I said, that took a few hours, so we were waiting there for a long time and there's only so much TikTok can do to help you pass the time. So we all got our negative results, which is fantastic. We are all in the hotel now, safe and sound and we are all very, very happy to be here. I'm very much contemplating on how I spend my time here in my room because we've only got 27 hours in this room, which isn't really that long. I thought it was a whole lot longer, hence why I checked in a case and why I brought so much food and I wouldn't have done that if I realized. Um, so yeah, we don't have long at all and I'm, I don't know whether to stick to UK time or just sleep when my body tells me to. And I feel like I'm leaning more towards just sleep when my body says to. I feel like this is quite a w <laughs> I feel like this is quite a weird thing to say, but those of you that would have seen my Mexico vlog, I think it was around June time, would kind of understand this. But this room, I know hotel rooms can only really look a certain way. But this hotel room really does remind me of the Mexico hotel. For me, it's more so in the bathroom, to be honest. Like they have the sliding door. I think the Mexico one had a sliding door, I think. But just the whole bathroom just really reminds me of the Mexico one. I don't know why. What's for dinner today, eh? Well, it's going to be more like a lunch for me at the moment, but I think I'm going to have one of these snack attack things. I love things like this room confinement. They are perfect. And the good thing about it when you check in a bag is these kind of things stay cold when they're in the hold during the flight. And I just pop them in the Tupperware box like over there. And they just stay nice and cool and fresh. So I'm gonna have one of those now. This may be the first hotel room I have stayed in that has top-notch lighting. I mean, it is one of these like LED lights, but they knew I was coming, didn't they? I just wanna fill you in on something quite exciting that I have planned. So basically a little story time. When I went to London the other day, as you saw, I got back to the hotel and I was just scrolling through TikTok and I saw that the James Bond premiere for No Time To Die was in London that night that I was in London. If I would have known this, I would have hung around, I would have powered through and I would have gone to that premiere just to see a glimpse of it. I am so gutted that I did not know. And I then clicked when I got back to the hotel, like that means it's coming out soon. It was supposed to come out last year and me and Vic were absolutely gutted when we found out that it was being postponed. So when I saw this, I was like, right, I'm getting onto the cinema website and I'm seeing when this comes out. It is coming out in cinemas today. The very moment I'm speaking to you guys on this vlog, the film is out today. So I spoke to Vic and I said, we need to plan this for the moment I get back from work. So I don't normally plan things for landing day, but this is vital that we go and see this film ASAP. I'm gutted I can't see it today, otherwise I would have, but Saturday is the closest time I can. So we have booked to go and see No Time To Die Saturday evening, and I'm so excited. So yeah, that's something really good to look forward to when I get back from this trip. Okay, so I'm now back in the room. I'm feeling a whole lot better after that shower and a whole lot more me again but I'm still feeling tired. So I think I'm just gonna film this clip and go straight to bed because I definitely need it. But before I do that, I'm really excited to do these final taste tests with you guys. So I mentioned earlier in this vlog that I did go to Asda and get a few different food items that I haven't tried before. They're more flavors that I haven't tried before rather than actual food items. And I think these flavors may or may not be limited edition. I need to check over those, but I'm really excited to do these final taste tests with you. 
So the first item I have is, are you ready? Maryland Jaffa Cake Cookies. Whoever thought of this idea is a genius. It doesn't say that they are limited edition, so I'm hoping they're here to stay. They don't really look any different compared to normal Maryland cookies, but let's give it a try. They definitely taste like Jaffa Cakes. I absolutely love those. I could quite easily eat a whole packet of those with a cup of tea. So I'm gonna put them to one side so I don't eat too much before I go to bed. So technically the third and the final taste test of this video is something very, very different and very interesting. I saw these in Asda a few weeks ago and I was like, surely that's not real. And then I saw them again the second time I went recently to buy food for this trip. And I thought, you know what? Let's pick them up because we don't know what they're gonna taste like and we can't make a judgment until we try them. I can't even imagine in my head what they're gonna taste like. But here it is. Pink gin and tonic Jaffa cakes. I'm not making it up. I genuinely am not. Look. Pink gin and tonic Jaffa cakes. Let's get stuck in, shall we? I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of gin and tonic. I like pink gin and lemonade, preferably over gin and tonic but I'm interested to see what these taste like. Like I said, I cannot even picture in my taste buds what this is gonna taste like. They smell really odd. I'm just gonna see if there's a percentage on here because I don't know if these Jaffa cakes are technically classed as alcohol. I can't see one. I feel like it would be very prominent on the front here. I can't seem to see one. Let's give it a go. That's a no from me. I'm quite gutted about that. That's like got a real funny taste to it. The word that comes to mind is bitter. And I know tonic is quite bitter, hence why I don't like it. I've got such a sweet tooth. And I think that's probably the reason why I don't like it. Let me give it another go, see if a second bite is any better. I'm really trying to like them here. Another word that comes to mind is like soap. These do say special edition, so maybe these will go one day and maybe that'll be for the better. But yeah, me personally, gutted. It's not for me. At least I've got plenty of other snacks to keep me going throughout this trip anyway. <laughs> At what point does a nap start becoming just a full night's sleep? I had intentions just to sleep for maybe two hours, just to, you know, give me a little boost. And I had a real good plan in my head to just try and fall asleep on UK time because I felt like that would also work with the timings of my flight tomorrow. And my nap ended up being six and a half hours long. I feel like it, that's just a night's sleep at this point. So yeah, I've just slept for a whole night. It's now early hours of the morning. I think I can see over the corner of my camera. It is 10 past four in the morning. And I have just been indulging on some more of the Jaffa cake cookies. And I might have another one. So I have just fallen asleep again for another nine hours since I last spoke to you. So in total, I have had at least 15 hours sleep. I only have five hours left in this room. Where the hell has the time gone? I genuinely thought I was doing another Singapore trip in length. Like I thought I was gonna be in this room for like two and a half days, but 
I'm leaving in five hours. So I need to make a plan basically and I need a plan that's going to wake me up rather quickly because even though I've had 15 hours sleep, which is a lot, I think it was a bit too much. And you know when you have too much sleep to the point where you just feel even worse? That's me right now. So plan I think I'm going to go with is have a bath because that always wakes me up and makes me feel super fresh. I have a load of food to eat, a load. I have things like cocktail sausages, mini chicken Kievs. Who knew they existed? Now we know. Run to Asda and get some. I have Pringles, I have grapes, I have my cookies with me, I have cereal to eat as well. I have a lot. So I think I'm just gonna bring all that to the bath with me, eat just random bits, slowly make my way through the food. Hopefully by the time my bath is done, I will be awake, I will be refreshed, and it should then be a couple of hours before I have to get ready. This is such a deep bathtub. I am looking forward to getting my bath on. A little bit of ASMR for you. That was an absolute letdown. Don't even know what I was trying to do there. Oh, there we are. No. No. I have been really naughty this trip and I am exposing myself that I always go on about in my videos like top tips for avoid jet lag is to drink lots of water and all of that, stay hydrated. Since I've been in this room, because I've slept most of the time, all I have drank is like that. I still have another one of these plus two more, which is really, really not good. So I've got one of these to make my water into juice, so hopefully I will drink a hell of a lot before I leave because this is not good. Is this the dream right now? Or is this the dream? By the way, these chicken Kievs are solid. My bath is finished and during the few hours I was in the bath, I must have dropped about three chicken Kievs and a Pringle. So that was a very seasoned bath. Plus it wasn't the best bath experience because the plug was one of those plugs where you have to push it down and it stays down and then you push it again for it to go up. And the bath kept draining. The water just wouldn't stay. So I think it might have been broken. And I must have refilled the bath about four times. Also, the bath water wouldn't really stay warm. So most of the time I was sat in just lukewarm water anyway. So I was like, right, this is another reason to get out and just get into a warm bed rather than sitting here in cold water. I now have about two hours or so before I need to start getting ready and I really have nothing else to do. I've put everything in my case that I possibly can do. Plus I didn't really get much out in the first place so I didn't have too much repacking to do. And there's nothing really to watch on YouTube and Netflix at the moment. I don't know if you guys find the same but I've watched everything that I want to watch. I watched Sex Education the other day, finished that. And aside from that, there's not really much else on Netflix that intrigues me. So I'm just gonna pop the, the telly on now and just see what we have on here. Because apparently there are a few British channels. So maybe there might be something interesting. We've got BBC World. And there's only eight channels. Let's just pretend that I didn't go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to sleep for like another half an hour. I can feel a bit of a headache coming on and I know that's because I haven't been drinking, so... That's what I'm going to be doing for the next hour and a half, is drinking while I get ready. <laughs> So let's sit back in my favourite spot of this room for a, a get ready debrief. So my hair did not go to plan. I tried to do something a bit different. I was going with like ballerina vibes. I thought maybe it might be nice to do something a bit different. Scraping my hair back as well might help with the flyaways. Nah. So my hair is very stubborn. I have a part in around here and my hair will only ever fall in that part in. 
whether that's down so if I try and do like a middle part in it ain't happening trying to scrape my hair back like this it still tries to separate it's not happening so I had a load of problems around here with lumps and bumps and trying to put hairspray in it and grips to try and slick it back and oh my hair is a pain I'm not best pleased with it but I haven't got time to mess around with it I've also did my makeup of course I've did no different to what I normally do. The only thing is, I think my concealer is a little bit too bright. Um, I've just put it like around my eyes here, so I think I need to go a shade darker, maybe. I've just had some food because I wanted to try and eat some more, just so it means less to take home. And then I've just got to repack my case, put my uniform on and go. This is my like time before a flight where I'm just mentally preparing to deal with the very full flight. <laughs> the one thing I try to keep in my mind is the busier I am, the quicker the flight goes. Right, we're all packed up. Time to head home. doing a little debrief of James Bond because it was incredible in my eyes yeah I was so emotional and I don't get emotional at films ever like the storyline in it so as light-hearted as No Time to Die was compared to the previous Daniel Craig installments there were some freaking heavy topics tugged oh. at the heartstrings a hell of a lot we won't give away any spoilers, but if you are contemplating seeing it... It's not even those. It's, just go. It's, it's like the, the, the socioeconomic topics with like... Um, well, I can't say, but... Yeah. Oh, it's just... So... You'll know if you've seen it. You'll know what we're talking about. It really... It's a brave movie. Very brave. And I think we see why they delayed it to kind of make it very relatable to the current climate of our oh, world so good. but it's so good i would genuinely pay to go and see it again and i think we're going to go to the cinema tomorrow to go watch venom I, don't, I think i think that if i didn't get my original refund for like the the, the last year when it was meant to premiere last year or this year earlier and i got the refund even if i didn't get the refund i'd still be happy i'd be yeah. satisfied because oh my god it's so good i mean i haven't been to the cinema since i haven't been to the cinema since same game when was that? 2018. I was definitely well before that. Doctor Strange, probably. Yeah. No, Venom. Yeah, because yeah. we spoke about this Venom When was one. Venom? 2019. Oh. Still two years. It's a long time to not go to the cinema, considering how often we used to go. Because we went to Venom um, literally like a week. 15th of October. Now that's... <laughs> Hold on, don't. Yeah. Venom's not out yet. What the? F what? Still the fifteenth. Release date's the fifteenth. <laughs> well, at least we have something to look forward to. Why? That's kind of gutting. Please. Was um, 2018. 2018 October. 2018. That's three years then. Damn, you haven't been to the cinema in three years. And that was a definite, you know, a big bang to come back on to, wasn't it? Yeah, it's and last time I went to the cinema was 25th of April 2019, because that was end game release date. Yeah. So it was two years for me and three years for you. Yeah, it was definitely worth staying up for anyway. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm back from Hong Kong anyway. That was kind of the purpose of this vlog. But I thought I'd just include a little bit of the cinema as well because I did say I was going to go. And we did. Um, but yeah, Hong Kong was tiring. I had my break from quarter to 11 last night until quarter to three this morning. I had four hours kit. So that kept me going. And then... I had a nap on the bus home, which was like an hour, and then I had another two hour nap this afternoon, so I have kind of made up for it. 
and that encouraged me to actually get to the cinema so we were actually watching um the ads weren't we as well i want to say about how we watched some of the ads before the film there's and there's a load of films coming out it's got the same sensor as my camera. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tense from this flight. I don't know why. Oh my god. It's being inappropriate. I'm not being inappropriate. Yes, you are. Why have I still got my hat on? Probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. These are my new hats I got from Primark the other day. I don't know if they suit me or whether I just look like a bit of a, um, a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and taking time out of your day. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below to let me know. Also pop on the notification bell as well because I upload once a week. I tend to do it around Monday, but sometimes I do miss that deadline. So I don't say I upload Mondays. She tries all right guys. I just upload once a week. So pop on that notification bell on will mean you guys get notified Bing. when I do upload. <laughs> but I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and yeah, I'll see you in my next video.